What's up everybody, it's Tadpole Superhero, and today, bet you didn't see this coming, we're playing some Mega Man X. Uh, I played this game once for this channel. I've beaten it once, but I played it once for this channel. Uh, just one episode, it was, it was in the midst of a lot of other Let's Plays, and I was trying to do Fridays as sort of a, you know, random play sort of thing, and... I was sitting here and I was actually going to come back and, and record some more Metroid Other M. And I, I turned on my Wii, or my Wii U, and I, I started up Metroid Other M. And right as the save file started loading, the little battery indicator for, for my Wiimote uh, showed up on the TV. And I was like, oh, oh no, time to get some AA batteries, right? So I, I go and I'm looking for AA batteries. I don't have any AA batteries. So I'm gonna get some, but then I realized, hey, this is a great opportunity to play some Mega Man X. I've been, wanting, I've been, I've been itching to play it anyway. So, if you want, I, I, I will put a link in here to the first episode of this. It was a while back. The audio was a little spottier than it is now, but otherwise, I mean, it recorded perfectly fine. Uh, we beat Chill Penguin stage and got the Ice Shotgun, or Shotgun Ice, as it's called in the game. Um, so what I'll be doing, I'm going to do a couple episodes of Mega Man X, then we'll, we'll be back to Metroid at some point, whenever I get AA batteries, and whenever I, I want to play it, as opposed to Mega Man X. So anyway, here we are with Mega Man X. Uh, so, I don't actually know what the recommended order of stages are. I know what every boss's weakness is, and I know what the boss, like, d beating certain stages does to other stages. Um... But I don't know the recommended order. The way I did it the first time I played this game was I did Chill Penguin first. I know that's recommended first, but I actually did Armored Armadillo next. So, let's do that once I can figure out the right button. Okay. <laughs> this game's so great. I, I love it. It's, ah, oh, it's so much fun. So anyway, bear with me. I haven't played for a while. A few months. And before that, I hadn't played for a long time either. So, okay. All right. Okay, we'll figure- Wow, that is a great start! Such a good start! Okay, okay. So, one of the gimmicks of this stage is riding minecarts. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Haha! Okay. One of the gimmicks of the stage is riding minecarts. Um, yeah. Otherwise, we are in a mine? Run by an armadillo. Makes so much sense, right? Oh, and we've got a crazy thing chasing us. Oh, Mets. No! Stop it! Stay away. <laughs> this game lags, which is hilarious during some sections. Uh, but anyway, oh, there's something up there. Oh, well. Oh, my gosh! Stop it, bats! See, I am so rusty. Oh, my gosh. Not that I was super good at this game before, but... Somebody drop health, come on. Give me something here. Okay, this is, this is gonna be a really, really bad. Stop dropping weapon ammo. Okay, anyway. I should probably talk. I should probably use my words. Nope, that didn't go so well, okay. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> I am so ready. I am so ready. Let's do this. Alright. So anyway. Uh, I mean, I'm not that great at 2D platformers anyway. But, I mean, I've beaten Mega Man X before. So, you know. It was it was a victory won through trial and tribulation and, and much, much hardship. Blood, sweat, and tears. Literal blood, sweat, and tears went into that. Okay, not, not literally. Probably not literally. I don't know. The world may never know. But I have beaten the game, which was a huge accomplishment for me, and and really just cemented this game as, as one of my one of my favorite games I've ever played. It's just it's so good. Even though I'm terrible at it, even though it's it's really hard. 
I just, I love it. It's so much fun. And that's, that's the most important thing for me, is that, you know, even if a game is really difficult, if it's fun, it, it, it doesn't really matter. There's a way to do, there's a way to do difficult games, and there's a way not to do difficult games. And I'm not saying this is like, you know, this isn't what you'd call a difficult game. Like, when it comes to 2D platformers, I want to be the guy, Super Meat Boy, that's what, that's what you would, would list off. Not Mega Man X. But for me, <laughs> Mega Man X is a very, very challenging, challenging game. But it's just so fun. Oh, now they're giving me health. All right. One of the things I don't like about these games, though, the Me Mega Man, classic Mega Man, and the X games is, uh, <laughs> X games, is that uh, enemies respawn like the instant you step off screen. The instant, like, okay, so I fight these bats, right? So now let's go, and then we come back, and there they are again. Which can be useful for, like, farming, pickups, health, and such. Oh, that's not what you want. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Okay, let's try again. I got farther, so that's something. <laughs> I love these, I love these opening like title screens with the with the the bosses and the and the logo the Maverick logo fun stuff okay and and as you may have noticed these uh mine carts they're not really carts they're more like they're they're kind of death traps So they'll often drop you off in uh, less than ideal locations and situations. They usually drop you off like right on top of a, a, a pit of spikes or a bottomless pit. Oh my gosh! I can do this. I can play video games. No, I can't. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone back for the health. That's that's the lesson. All right, so here we go again. <laughs> I don't know how enjoyable this is going to be to watch for you. This this entire let's play. I am going to play through the entire game. I don't know how enjoyable it's going to be because I'm not like you. Like I've said and like you have now seen, I'm not very good at this game. It'll come back to me, but I'm still not going to be like great. I'm not going to be MLG pro gamer. All right, let's just do some 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 dashing. Okay, there we go. Well, at least I got quite a bit of health. Okay. So your problem is I just I'm very slow at these games. Oh no, oh no. Alright. Shooting fish in a barrel, there we go. Alright, down we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, he gave me a health pickup, that was nice of him. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright, hey, stop it. Don't be like that. Thought we were friends. We could have been friends in another life. So one of the things you can do is destroy this thing. I think I have to actually have to land in front of it. Yeah, I do. You can destroy it, but not very easy. Oh, did I do it? Yes! So we can pick up a health tank that'll expand my health, health bar. See, look at that. I can play video games. Sometimes. When it comes to platformers, not maybe not so much, but oh no! Oh hey, it respawned. Okay, let's try this again. Not so good. Oh my gosh! Just, just hang on, Mega Man X. Just hang on. It's gonna be okay. Okay, thanks for the health, bro. Thank you so much. Oh hey, this is the last segment 
Wow, we're already at the boss. I forgot how short these levels are. Some of them. Anyway, one of the things, it was a huge accomplishment for me beating um, Armor and Armadillo because <laughs> I beat him with just the Buster, the Buster weapon. Uh, I didn't have his the weapon he's weak to. I actually don't even remember what he's weak to. I think it's Spark Mandrill's weapon. Okay, I, I, oh, this is, this is going to take some work. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go through this a few times. <laughs> All right, here we are. Let's try this again. I can do this. I just have to get back into the zone of his patterns. Yeah, charge shots don't really matter against this guy. It does the same amount of damage whether you charge or not. Oh, okay. Ow. What did you do that for? This is going to take me a bit. Oh, jeez. One more hit and I am toast. Yeah, there I go. There I, go. <laughs> I think that's... Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm going to meet you back at the boss. <laughs> I'm sorry if this isn't enjoyable. I'm having fun playing games. I'll meet you back at the boss. I'll, I'll see you there. Alright, what's up, guys? We're back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but I actually died twice on the way here. <laughs> I'll get this. I'll get back to it. Just bear with me during these difficult times. Oh, what am I doing? Stop it. Stop it. What is he doing? Stop shooting them! Oh, did I get him stuck in some pattern? Dang it! Alright. Alright. Let's try again. It took me so many tries the first time, but I thought I'd be better at this game. We'll see. Give him a shot at the start. Okay, all right. So he's starting like that. No, don't get hit by those. I can only take like three, four hits. Yeah, start that. Dang it. You gotta be patient. Patience is the best way to defeat evil creatures. Okay, watch how he rolls, watch how he moves. Uh, gosh dang it. It's gonna take a while, folks. It's gonna take a while. No. No! What am I doing? Dang it. Oh. And again! We're gonna be here a while. Bear with me, please. Don't start like that. Don't start like that. Uh, this guy's tough without the right weapon. But I am not. Oh, I remember why I went here because I actually did originally look up. Where should I go after Chill Penguin? And it was Spark Mandrill stage because he's weak to the ice weapon. Problem is, Spark Mandrill stage has like the most brutal mini boss in the history of mini bosses. Will you just? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Ugh. All right. Yeah, it's like so. I tried Mar Spark Mark Spandrill stage. <laughs> tried Mark Spandex's stage, like. 10 times and that mini boss just kept getting me uh, it's tough to take on that mini boss without you know all the upgrades and stuff all the upgrades and health bonuses and things like that so yeah 
So I was like, okay, let's just go through every stage and find a boss that I think is doable with just my buster. Uh, which is X's main arm cannon weapon, in case you don't know. Alright. Getting into a groove here. No! Oh man, that was good, that was good. Gotten some good hits. Take some more hits. Come on, buddy. So finally I got to Armor Armadillo and I was like, okay, this guy seems the most doable. He has a fairly simple uh, pattern with his attacks. No! Oh no, one more hit and I'm dead. Ah, I was doing so well too. Anyway, I'm getting back into this, as you can see. He's also being very nice to me with his pattern right now. Oh no, I was so close. Once more into the breach! Once more into the breach! Uh. Come on, army. We can do this. You and me, buddy! That's how it was meant to be. There we go, I got two hits. Don't you dare. Don't you dare lock yourself into one form of attack. You're a better boss than that! Come on, buddy. Roll around at the speed of sound. Learn from Sonic your inspiration. There we go. There we go. Come on. Now it's just up to me to actually play video games properly. To actually play video games like I know what I'm doing. I told you guys, this fight is, is tough. I don't know why when I first played this game I thought, Oh, this is the most doable with the, with the buster. <laughs> But to be fair, all of the bosses except for Chill Penguin are brutal with just the buster. Just using your arm cannon. All of the bosses in this game are pretty tough. So Ar Armored Armadillo really is probably the easiest after Chill Penguin. Uh, Launch Octopus is ugh, brutal. Flame Mammoth is uh, so difficult. Um, Sting Chameleon is just my nightmare. Boomer Quanger is pretty, pretty mean and unkind. Spark, Man Spark Mandrill, he might be slightly more difficult than Armored Armadillo. And we're saying with just the Buster. Um, who else left? Storm. Oh no, Storm Eagle. Actually, Storm Eagle, Storm Eagle has pretty avoidable patterns once you once you learn it. So Storm Eagle is not that bad. I mean, I've never played against him with just the Buster, but it would be basically the same. You just do less damage. Storm Eagle's not too bad. Yeah. Who else is left? Armadillo, Penguin, Octopus, Mammoth, Mandrill, Kowanger, uh, Chameleon, and, and Eagle. Oh, no! Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. This is about how it went the first time I played this game, actually, except he never got stuck into his, into his, into cannon mode. He never got stuck in cannon mode. Okay, three more hits. Don't jinx it, Tadpole. Don't jinx it. We can do this. All right, come on. Come on. Take another hit. Take your medicine. Yes! Yes, take it. We did it. Yes! Oh, feels so good to be alive. Woo! All right, <laughs> that does it for today's episode. I probably, uh, I definitely cut out a lot. I don't know how much I cut out, but to let you guys know, however long the video is, I've been playing for 40 minutes. So, <laughs> oh, that took a, oh, how many tries did that take? How many lives did I burn through? More than 20, probably. Okay, so anyway, there, another one bites the dust. So next time. I don't even know who we're going to face because we're probably going to jump around a lot to figure out who to defeat. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> and for bearing with me through all of this. If you got any fancy tips and tricks and awesome ideas of how to play this game better, 
let me know. I mean, I have beaten it, but it is difficult. So, anyway, thank you for watching. You guys are the best. I will see you next time with some more Mega Man X. Why did I say it like that? All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.